slime today. Everyone knows the Papa? Yes, dear. Your father doesn't need to know. Too sweet, too sour. Too thick. Oh, uh -huh. no. It's way past 6.30. Maybe Warren's not calling. Maybe. He found himself a New York City girl. Hey! <laughs> well, I wish everyone would stop talking about Warren. Whoa! The Lord and Master. Uh, now I remember where I left my other skate. <laughs> I hope I haven't killed you all up. I was having a nice little skate ride before dinner. Papa, I'm going to bury Bridget Rockefeller tomorrow in that lovely cigar box you gave me. Tootie, remind me to spank you after dinner. Yes, Papa. Lord, we thank you for the bountiful blessings we are to receive. Amen. Amen. If I forget to remind Papa, you remind me. All right. Katie, this looks delicious. Uh huh. I know this hasn't been a very successful day for any of us. Now let's relax and enjoy a nice leisurely meal. Katie, I'm sorry I wasn't able to eat an hour earlier. Ah, uh, don't blame me if the corned beef is in our temper. Tootie, you finished already? Now that's the way I like to see you eat. You keep eating like that, and you're going to be a big... <laughs> Either I found a spoon or love some soup. Oh, Katie! Rose! Did you hear there's going to be a fashion exhibition at the World's Fair? Oh, Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Well, I just can't stand it. We'll have to wait another ten months for it to open. I'll die. I'm simply done. Oh. Katie! Anyone for dessert? Oh, oh, please. Please. Dessert? What happened to dinner? I didn't think anyone would want to be in after wallowing in a steaming hot bath. Nonsense. I have every intention of enjoying an enormous dinner. Bring in the corned beef. <laughs> and it wasn't a steaming hot bath. Anna. I think Katie's getting a little... Well, you have been rather unkind to her, you know. Unkind? That's ridiculous. I simply took a bath. Ah, oh. oh, here we are. Katie, I could smell that cabbage when I got off the trolley. Cabbage has a cabbage smell. <laughs> Katie, in this house we cut the corned beef. We don't shave it. Oh. Miss Smith? You said you wanted this to go for two meals. Katie! I'll get that. <clears throat> Hello? Uh, a what? Hello? You have to speak a little louder, please. New York? No, I'm not calling New York. Hello? Ah. Uh, I'm gonna have to get that telephone taken out. Alonso. Yes, Anna? Not every call is for you. Oh, that one wasn't. <laughs> Those operators. Katie, take this into the kitchen and slice it. Why is Rose crying? Well, what's the matter with her? Oh, nothing, Papa. You just ruined her chance to marry a millionaire. That's right. <laughs> that was Warren Sheffield, heir to the Sheffield fortune, calling long distance to propose. Judy, did you know there was going to be a long-distance telephone call to this house? The Iceman said a drunk who got shot yesterday. He said the blood spurted out three feet into the air and all over the pavement. Oh, Judy, <laughs> answer yes or no. Yes, sir. Agnes? Yes, sir. Lon? Yes, sir. Well, that's just fine. Anna, I'm curious. Just when was I voted out of this family? Oh, Lon, really? Well, what else am I to think? My eldest daughter is practically on her honeymoon, and everyone in St. Louis knows about it but me. In view of the fact that this family refuses to let me in on its little intrigues, I will handle the telephone in my own way. From now on, I will take all incoming calls. But lots of I will not be treated like this in my own house. It's deceitful. It's lacking in respect. It's downright... <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is Miss Rose Smith. Yes, you may put that New York call through. <laughs> Hello, Lord. Yes, it's me. I, it's I. Yes. What? Oh, St. Louis is fine. It's a little hot, though. Is it hot there? Oh, well, 
what's hot here too. Um, what? Oh, no, Warren, I can hear you fine. Are you, are you speaking now? Oh, you're not? Uh, well, I I is there anything special, uh, reason why you called? I, I said, is there anything particular you wanted to ask me? I don't think I would misunderstand you, Warren. The connection seems quite clear. Why should I mention this call to anyone? What did you say? He said there'd be eight to pay. If his folks find out, he called long distance. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny, Warren. My family is sitting right here, and they don't think anything of it. We get so many long distance calls, you know. <coughs> I don't care if you have another 36 seconds left, Warren. As it happens, I, I, I do have another engagement. Well, here's Joe now. Come on in, Joe. Have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Warren, uh, whether or not you're in town in time for Lon's going away party is entirely your concern. No, Warren, I'm not mad. He's mad. <laughs> yes, you may write to me tonight if you wish. Do that little thing! Oh, yes. 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 So you didn't anyone. Oh, yes. 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 Yes.